What's going on guys? So just putting together the final pieces of the dual battery setup. I've just picked up a DC DC battery charger and also a small inverter just to charge things. I've previously just been running this 170 amp hour battery from this 240 volt uh, power charger. So with this I'll be able to go for much longer which will be good. Um, but it's done me, done me alright for a start because this project just got put on the back burner. But anyway we'll get to that. Um, so basically I'm just powering a Ingle fridge and then a few of these lights. Uh, so I've got them on the side and on the back. Mate Tom here. Oh, another bloke. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, so first things first, got to get the uh, Red Arc DC DC charger hooked up to the crank battery. So just before I get stuck into it, basically from the battery I've got the negative feeding through this shunt. Um, and from here I can basically get a measurement, uh, voltage measurement, also um, amperage discharge. And it's also got this thing, I don't know how accurate it is, but it tells you like an overview of what the charge is in the battery and also um, the time till discharge. <coughs> uh, so from there it's feeding into this blade fuse box um, and I've got some other panels to put more stuff in, other, out, other channels. Um, and then I've got two relays, so both of these are to turn these side lights on and the rear lights and I turn those on from here, uh, so that's two side lights on and then I've also got uh, spotlights and LED light bar in the front. So yeah, that's a quick overview. And then we get stuck into wiring this up now. Alright guys, just a quick little update. So I've done all the stuff in the front. It's mounted a 60 amp fuse here. Obviously I haven't connected it yet, but I'll just connect over there. And I've just routed it up here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the hole through there. Basically that just comes out here. Anything. But yeah, that just runs through there, and then pull this up, put it under there. And we can continue back here. Right, well this is the aftermath of the DC-DC install and the inverter. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so the inverter's in upside down so that I can get access to the 240 volt and the seats back in, and the power. And here you can still see the lights. So yeah, time to clean it up now and test it all out. Alright guys, so I've got a we're gonna be cleaner now. Unfortunately this is about as clean as you get when you have a big dog who molts. Hey TJ. <laughs> anyway, so I've wired it all up now. Um, and as you can see I've got power going on the inverter, so I'm just gonna plug a drill battery into that charge just to test that out and then I'm going to um, look at the current draw across the shunt here. So as you can see I've got zero current across the shunt at the moment obviously because nothing's connected. Um, oh and by the way I like to have this free so I can leave it wherever I put my fridge if I have it outside of the car. But anyway so I've just got um, this plugged in to the inverter so when we turn this on we'll be able to see the current discharge. Right, so as you can see it's pulling 11.5 amps across the shunt um, and now I'm going to hook the fridge back up and test that out. So I've just wired up the old Engel fridge, um, so I'll turn that on, turn it on full as a worst case scenario and then I'm going to turn the inverter back on. So as you can see uh, it's drawing 15, over 15 amps now. I'm going to leave that on for a bit and I'm actually going to go and turn the lights on as well. So I've got the lights on as well now, um, so it's drawing, so it's got 21 amps, and as you can see the percentage discharge has gone way down. Um, so yeah, that's 21 amps, I've got it, this is actually rated to 100 amps, um, but I've got it fused at 
50. So there's still plenty of headroom. This thing obviously can put out a bit more. Um, so I'll have to test that out later on. But for now, that's all going well. So now I'd like to test out the DC-DC charger and make sure that that is uh, working when the car is in ignition. Um, and then it should um, start putting, start passing current from my cranking battery to the auxiliary battery. So we'll test that out now. So as you can see, I've just turned everything off. So I've got um, zero current going across the shunt um, and the car is off. So when I go to ignition, um, the DC-DC charger should start uh, and start passing current across the shunt. There it goes. So it's obviously got a slight delay, but now it's um, putting over 20 amps. It's uh, actually rated to 40 amp. It's a 40 amp um, DC-DC charger. It doesn't discharge current from the cranking battery when the car is off um, and also if I turn it to, I don't have enough hands here, but if I go back to auxiliary it should turn off as well. So there you go. Anyway guys, that's all working now so we'll wrap it up here. Um, just before I go, just full disclaimer, this is not a tutorial on how you should be setting all this up, this is just how I've done it. Um, so yeah, but if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And yeah, we'll go from there. Cheers.